Let's look at an example of constructing a bootstrap sampling distribution for the difference in two means. I'm going to use stat key for this demonstration. In the center column, you'll see bootstrap confidence intervals. For this example, I'm going to construct a bootstrap distribution for the difference in means. Stat key has a number of built-in data sets. Let's use the exercise hours males minus females data set. In a sample of 50 college students, there were 20 males and 30 females. Each participant was asked how many hours per week they exercised. On the right, in the original sample table, we can see the original sample data. We could also click Edit Data to view this data set. To construct a bootstrap sampling distribution, what we would do by hand or what StatKey is going to do for us, is randomly select one male from the original sample of 20 males, record how many hours he exercises, put him back into the sample, and repeat 19 more times. This would give us a total of 20 data points for the males because in the original sample we had 20 male participants. We would do the same thing for females a total of 30 times. This is similar to the procedure used to construct a bootstrap distribution for a single mean. The difference now is that we need to do it twice, once for each group, and then subtract to find the difference in the two groups' bootstrapped means. If I click Generate One Sample, StatKey will do this for us one time. On the right, we now have a bootstrap sample distribution along with descriptive statistics. In our first bootstrap sample, the mean difference was 3.17. We can see on these plots that the mean for males was 13 and the mean for females was 9.833, giving us a mean difference of 3.17. On the larger bootstrap distribution, that first bootstrap difference in means is represented by this dot. We can repeat this procedure a second time. In our second bootstrap sample, the difference in bootstrap means is negative 0.18. This second bootstrap difference in means is represented by the second dot on the larger graph. This arrow and the number under it show the mean of the bootstrap distribution thus far. The mean of negative 0.18 and positive 3.17 is 1.492. And you can see as I hover over these points, the bootstrap sample on the right changes to display the data in that particular set. StatKey gives us the option to generate one sample, 10 samples, 100 samples, or 1,000 samples at a time. Unless otherwise specified, you should be taking at least 5,000 bootstrap samples. Let's do that now. Now we have a total of 5,002 bootstrap samples. These are each shown on our dot plot below. If we hover over any of these points, the data from that one sample shows up in our bootstrap sample distribution on the lower right. Note that the original sample does not change. At the bottom of this dot plot, we have the mean of this bootstrap sampling distribution. This value can also be found at the top right of the dot plot, where we're given the number of resamples, the mean of this distribution, and the standard error, which is the standard deviation of this distribution. Next, you'll learn how you can use this bootstrap sampling distribution to construct a confidence interval.